So today I'm going to talk to you about knee pain when you're running. So obviously knee pain for runners is really, really common. Um, and not always is it an issue around what's happening in the actual knee itself. Um, so people often think that, oh, my knee's hurting, so maybe let's go check that out, get that scan, see what's happening there. Often that's not the case, and what's actually causing that is tight muscles, particularly up around our hip. So when we are running, we're actually in internal rotation quite a bit. So what tends to happen is that rather than using our glutes, is that we start to use, overuse our TFL, and our TFL is the one that runs straight into our ITB. So what we want to do is not only roll our ITB regularly, but we also want to trigger into that TFL as well, which is just up a little bit higher. So for, for these two activities, we can take our lacrosse ball or a tennis ball, cricket ball, that sort of thing. And what we're gonna do is get on our side like we're rolling our ITVs. And we're just gonna trigger, use that and really trigger into that top part of the hip. So we're just lying down like this and really getting stuck in there with the ball, finding those spots that are hurting and then stick there. It shouldn't take you too long to figure that out. Of course, after that, We've also got our, our foam roller and we want to roll our ITV. So I like to progress people up to as hard as we can go. So um, this is a fairly, this fairly rigid one, but you'll find the ones with plastic inside just start to get a little bit, um, get in there a little bit more. So definitely progress up once you start doing this fairly regularly. We just roll that ITV all the way from our knee all the way up to our hip. And we can just vary the pace that we're doing this at as well. So we do this nice and slowly, spend a bit of time to floss back and forward. Or just go a little bit quicker. So we can use that leg to either add some pressure in, or we can take pressure away as well by just bending that knee and just doing things like that. So that addresses the tightness. What it doesn't address is the underlying issue around why we're getting tight. And that underlying issue is underutilization of our glutes. So what we do for that is the first thing is we want to get strong. You'll hear me say this time and time again, but it does solve so many issues for, for you as a runner. So what do we need to do to get strong? So we need to squat and we need to deadlift regularly. So our squat, again, both of those lifts we want to get beyond our body weight. So if we're 60 kilos, we want to be squatting more than 60 kilos. That's an ideal scenario to get to for a runner. So that's the first thing, we get strong. The next thing is we want to get nice and stable on our, on our legs. So stability is a good show of glute control. So we want to do our basic glute exercises, stuff that you would have seen in um, probably a lot of running magazines and that sort of thing. So there's, there's a few ones. I'll give you a couple here today. First off, we go on one leg and we do a single leg deadlift like that. So that's just our single leg deadlifts. We do two to three sets of those, eight each side, um, and you can do those three to four times a week. So that, again, that's just hinging from the hip. We should feel our hamstring switch on and our back stays nice and flat for toes. What you'll find with that one is it really starts to fire up that glute as you go by purely having to stabilise. Next one is just our glute bridge. I'll just get our mini band. So this is really good for again glute activating those glutes. Because our glutes are an external rotator. So they switch on when our knees go out like that. So when we put this mini band on, we're fighting against those knees coming in and therefore we're switching those glutes on. So we just lie down on the ground and push our hips up and push our knees out against the band. Now, as I said before, when we are running, we get into that internal rotation, which is obviously the, the, the reverse of external rotation. So, immediately straight away, we're not in an ideal scenario to fire up those glutes. Again, that's what's the cause of some of that knee pain. 
So it's just about retraining those glutes to switch on. The other exercise that we can do with our mini band is again, band around our knees, we're pushing against that band, we can just do some side steps like that. So you do those about 12 to 15 steps one way, 12 to 15 steps back. And yeah, a couple of sets of those three to four times a week as well. So doing those sort of loop activities, it's going to take the pressure off that, that TFL which is starting to take over that movement, that's why it's getting tight. So we want to mobilise, get our glutes switching on and you'll significantly reduce that knee pain. Talk to you soon.